Alrighty, good morning, good afternoon, middle of the night, whatever the case may be. Basically, uh, just getting rid of some uh, stuff around here. Going to be doing some rearranging and stuff, uh, building a new, uh, building a bench here. Finally, um, a real bench. So basically, I thought I'd throw a little, a little package deal together here. Uh, basically, I have one, two, three, four, five Cobra twenty fives. These do not work at all. They're all part radios. And if you're a radio tech, you know good and well uh, part radios is a gold mine at times. <laughs> you might need them faces right there, the knobs, and mic connectors, and switches, and whole front bezels. You just never know, you know. Um, these, on the other hand, do work. But have uh, minor issues like uh, with the channel display not being all the way lit, no light on the um, meter here. And this one down here is actually a radio that I attempted, let's use the word attempted, to install a channel display in. And as you see, it didn't turn out too well. <laughs> didn't turn out too well there. I don't know if I put it in upside down or what, but I'll tell you what, that's a that's a tough little install right there, no doubt about it. I'll have to try that again probably on a cover 29 next sometime, but you know, every once in a while if I ever get some free time, I like to try to practice around with these radios <clears throat> since I haven't got deep into them yet. You know, I'm working on learning. <laughs> that one didn't turn out too well there, as you can see. But the radio works, and on this one right here, the meter is completely dead on this one, okay? The meter is completely dead. And I am actually supplying a meter. I'm actually supplying a meter that you can go ahead and just install in here, okay? This one right here works, just needs a light. Um, another thing that I'm doing, I'll take you over here in just a second. If you ever watched my uh, regulated dead key variable video, I went ahead and threw together three kits for um, to do a uh, dead key variable for uh, three different cover 25s, 29s, unit 66, 68. You could work on a couple other radios as well, but those are the only four that I've actually done it on myself successfully. So uh, there you go, and I just gave you some wire right here. You can just tap onto the RF gain knob. Any questions there, just watch that video. I kind of go step by step. It ain't the most professional video in the world, but I've got a lot of good feedback and have uh, personally talked to over 10 people verbally that has done it successfully from watching my video and is enjoying the, uh, the results from it. So, all right. This is uh, this is my personal mic. This ain't coming with it. This is a brand new uh, this uh, SS fifty six a Road King lookalike, but that that's not that's my personal mic here, so that's not coming with it. All right, I'm hooked up to the uh, radio in the bottom. As you can see, the receive works. I got the uh, external speaker hooked up. Let me see if the internal speaker works. Yeah, I don't hear nothing from the internal speaker. I can't even remember if I got it hooked up or not, but. All right. We're, we got the dozy here on PEP, okay? We got the bird 10 watt slug in. As you see, it's got a high dead key of about 5 watts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, see? Technically, once you do a dead key variable, on the regulated dead key variables to that, you'll be able to turn that dead key all the way down to one watt or whatever you want to, and it should swing six. And that's a good little powerful radio with be a factory final in it. And that's what I was going to do to these radios, but I just don't have enough time. Attempting to put that channel 
display and they're unsuccessfully kind of kind of threw me off too if that was going to be successful i was going to go ahead and do a blue le uh, one right here do a dead key variable to it then move on to this one but i just i do not have enough time for that right now so i'm not going to be able to do that here's a pep no no so it's doing about 13 watts or so on the dozy and uh everything else seems to work Here's the bright. I had it on. See that, 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 that channel display. I think I've got it hooked up backwards or something. Also, the actual this uh, chan the whole circuit there. It, it's pitiful what I did. Let me take you over here. I got to show you this real quick. Basically, th th this portion right here of the radio, you know, is what you have to take out to change the channel display. Well, when I took that out. I could see that in between here traces were popped loose and that explained why some of the LEDs wasn't working well like a crazy guy that I am like a crazy guy that I am I went over here walk over here real quick and show you this I know this is off subject kind of I went over here and drew this crazy circuit out right here. When I spent all that time doing that right there, as you can see. Which I probably need to save this right here for future use. Or maybe even post it on the internet. I don't know if anybody's ever went to <laughs> trouble to do this. But basically that's showing the connections from the front board to the bottom board. And I actually ran individual wires. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of them individual wires hooking up every single connection and i know for sure that i did all that right i checked every single thing right and i actually think what i'd done wrong was the actual channel display itself i believe i put in backwards <laughs> but you know you live and you learn yeah it's a waste of time but at least i gained a little bit of experience in soldering i guess you could say or further experience all right well there you go with that squelch works RF gain works. God dang. So it looks like the RF gain don't take it completely out. But if you put the dead key variable right here, that'll be all the way up anyway. And of course the dynamite. Alright, there's that one. Alright, let's unhook the mic right there. Hook it in right there. Get back here and just switch everything up to the top of it here. And I don't have to use the external speaker for this one. I do remember that the internal speaker is working on this one. Alright. As you can hear. As you see with this display, it's like you got a little an LED out. Not bad enough that you can't tell where you're at, you know, but this does have an LED as well. Squelch. It's a dynamite. RF gain. The DM seems to be kind of faulty on this, as you can see there. You turn it all the way down, it does that right there. The DM seems to not even work. You turn it down like that. Well, it kind of worked that time. Probably the variables went out, it looks like. But, uh, 10 on 9, 19. Um, filter. A and L off, CBPA. All right, and here's your output. Four watt dead key. Four watt dead key to five watts. Oh, you can see this thing right here is bone stock. That's what a bone stock radio looks like. 
So pretty much, man, you take this out, put that, uh, put one of these puppies in right here. This is a dead key variable, but it's also a swing kit as well. I just don't usually call it the swing kit. That 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 actual two word swing kit has been taken, you know, ten different ways with certain things. I, I really don't even like the way that sounds, but basically, it allows you to turn your dead key down, but still have your same swing no matter where your dead key's at. So. Uh, like with this radio, if you put one of these in here, you'll be able to turn that dead key down to all the way to, you know, nothing or one watt or whatever you want to. And it should swing up to that five watts, maybe even gain a little bit up to six. Probably more. I mean, I, I'd say uh, you got the modulation pot in here too, which I have no idea if it's turned up. Here's somebody talking. Let me see where they were at. <laughs> Alright, so there you go with that. I need to go ahead and race through all this. Alright. Let me go here and grab this right here. Alright, here's one thing. We're going to add a power wire in here with it. One power wire. Alright, here's a Cobra mic. It's in great shape. Four pin. It dead keys, but I hear no audio coming out of it. That could be because this is wired up for a different radio, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Here's a mic right here. I don't know where this came from, but it has got echo on it, and you can tell that it actually uses voltage from some radio to do all this. So I don't know what that goes with, and it doesn't have a end on it. This right here come out of some unit and. I don't really know what unit it come out of. I have no idea the working condition of it. Got a little switch uh, thing here that does work. One to three. Basically hook you up three antennas or three radios pretty much. All right, got an echo board here. It looks like a factory echo board. I do not know the working conditions of it. Got a meter right here that does work. I tested that with an ohm meter. We got one, two, three channel selector circuits here. And these, all of these came out of these radios right here. I took them all out of it. <laughs> when I was trying to study up on that, I kind of took them all out of here just to kind of look at them and, and um, kind of study them and kind of compare them. And believe it or not, every single one of these have differences. This one right here was the only one that was absolutely identical to the one that was in that other cover 29. So, yeah, I learned a little bit from, I guess, the whole thing that I thought I didn't learn nothing from. So, I learned a little bit, gained, gained a few more notes in the old book of knowledge. <laughs> and I don't know the working condition, condition of them. I do know one of them do work, does work, and I can't remember which radio it, it was in. Um, all right, got a Roger Beat board here. Looks like a, I don't know if it's a factory board or not. It does say beep on the back of it here. Where is it at? There, there it is. It says beep right there. Looks like everything's here with it. Um, I don't know the working condition of this as well. I hadn't tested that. As, and then right here is a, where's the other part of it? This is basically a weather module to the uh, 25WX. Where is it? Right here, this WX. I had took this out. I was going to just sell it, kind of part it out. Here it is. Basically, it's these two here. This actually uh, solders straight to the coax right there. And then these two will solder in. And you can see where it was like it was cut from. So I might cut it possibly. And I want to say that this does work 100%, but I cannot remember. It was a while ago that I hooked it up. But I want to swear that I remember hooking it up and somebody was over here. And uh, basically, they, they had no idea that some CB radios had weather channels in there. And I remember telling them, shoot, yeah, man, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> but don't hold me to it. So that's why this is going to be a parts not working ad here. So there you go. Got a couple of knobs here for uh, mounting. Um, I did have a mounting bracket I'll send to that came with one of them. Like somebody chopped it up, but hell, it still worked just fine. 
and I got a couple of jumpers over here and as well with these jumpers I don't know the working condition of them uh, at all I have no idea the working condition of these jumpers these are some of my personal ones I've had the last six years that I've been into the hobby uh, one of them don't have an end on it as you see right there uh, hold on, let's get a little bit closer there, right there the other one does so you can just hook it up to a coax tester or, or uh or an analyzer so so there you go just a bulk of stuff that you can use for parts for some tech out there and you got two radios right here that you can put a little bit of tlc in throw your dead key variable in there some blue lights throw an echo board in this cotton picker man uh make you a little bit of cash on them that's what i was uh, going to do but don't have no time right now so i gotta let go of a little bit of weight I'll have a good one. This is going to be kind of a heavy package. I'll try not to get too crazy with the shipping on it, but uh, I do have to take that in mind. It's going to be slightly a heavy package. So there you go. Whoever gets it, enjoy. God bless. 73rds. I'm off to the bed.